hello friends welcome to your own youtube channel achievers data engineering my name is ganendra and in this video of power bi tips and tricks we are going to talk about how can you edit interactions on your power bi report or on your power bi dashboard right so we are going to talk about how can you control visual level filter so for example in this view uh, most probably you know that if we will go ahead and select any year entire report will get filtered right so th that's a by default nature of power bi report whenever we go ahead and click on any of the visual on the report it trends to you know filter rest of the visuals right however we can control that interactions by doing some settings so how to do that let's get started to see that All right, guys. So now uh, we are on a Power BI report, and I have already set up a couple of visual elements just for the demo purpose. Now you can see here that on the top I am using a year slicer. So if I go ahead and click on any other year, and so you can notice that all of the visual elements on this report are getting filtered as per the data available for 2021, right? Similarly for another year, and similarly for other year, right? Along with this, it's a default nature of Power BI visual elements that if I go ahead and click on any other visual element, for example, on this analysis like month over month variance uh, chart, if I go ahead and click and select any particular bar, right? So rest of the item available over here will be filtered accordingly. Though I, I, I haven't used, I, I didn't say that use this bar as a filter, right? But it's a default uh, you know, property of visual elements on Power BI to get a rest of the elements filtered according to the selection, right? However, if there is a situation that we don't want a particular visual to be used as a filter or we want a particular visual element to be a static instead of, you know, getting changed as per any other selection, we can do that using edit interaction option available in Power BI, right? So uh, let's see an example. How can we do that? So um, in this particular visual, where it says total sales by year, what I meant to display over here, I wanted to display the proportion of sales of each year, right? So as of now, when I am changing any year selection, then its entire donor chart is displaying the sales of a single year, and that doesn't make any sense, right? I want to show the proportion of sales of each year, and I want it to be static, and I don't want it to be changed by using of any other filters over here right so what we can do that like how can you how can we do that is well go ahead and click on a, this slicer right so based on which we want to change the uh, other filter we will go ahead and select that particular visual element so in this case i am selecting this year slicer i'll click on format and click on edit interactions now Till the time this edit interaction option is enabled, you will notice each visual element on this Power BI report has got two additional icons on the top, right? So as you can see, based on this icon, one says filter and another says none, right? So what we want, because we have selected this slicer, so what we want interaction uh, of this slicer with this visual element is I don't want to get it filtered, right? So I'll go ahead and select none. And now I'll go ahead and uh, just go on the format again and off the interaction. Now you can notice that now this donor chart is showing the sales of all of the year regardless of any selection, right? So if I go ahead and change the year, it is still showing all of the year. However, if I like click on any visual element or any proportion of sales in this donor chart, the rest of the data is still getting filtered, right? So this is how actually we can go ahead and control the visual level filters. If I want that be even based on clicking in this uh, donor chart, I don't want to be filter rest of the items. Then again, we can follow the same process. I can select this donor chart, go to the format, edit interaction. Now, because I don't want a rest of the item, like entire other items on this report 
not to be getting filtered using this particular visual element then what we need to do click on this uh, donut chart and click on none for all of the available items on this report all right so we have selected none for all of the visual elements now we can go ahead and uh, turn off or disable the edit interaction option now you notice that even if i click on any other element okay we may be missed on selecting this let me just go ahead and click on format edit interactions and this one okay cool actually it's not it's not changing values it's just kind of uh, loading but it's returning the same uh, visual right so now you can see here uh, we have uh, enabled the option that even someone is clicking on any particular proportion of sales in this donor chart nothing is getting filtered but if you talk about any other visual element like this uh, bar if I go ahead and click on this the rest of the items are getting filters so depending upon the situation depending upon the requirement we can control this visual level filter and uh, we can go ahead and complete or uh, we can go ahead and follow this requirement using this edit interactions option all right so I hope it has given you enough understanding how can you uh, control your visual level filters in power bi if you like the content please go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day